Okay, I'm just going to do a quick explanation of the code. I'm probably going to put out a picture if I, of all the code on one screen. It's actually not possible to show um, at the moment because there's so much of it. Uh, if I do, link will be in the description. For now though, I'll just show what this code does. Um, this is the code for the jumping bot, which you can see in action in a different video. This is taken directly afterwards, which is why you'll notice that the bot is currently flipped. And why the pressure plate is currently in its leg. Um, anyway, this left side here, you notice got pressure pads. Up here we've got a few end gates. What this does, this just checks that all four are pressed at the same time. This bottom one checks that all four aren't press. Right, this is this goes down to make sure that the emergency only can be used when you actually need it, which is the zero, that's the one on the back that allows you to flip it back up. This one over here goes over here to make this top one goes over here to make sure that it's on the ground that it only activates the standard movement when it's on the ground. Um, this bit over here, this massive grid of logic gates, each one of these checks that one key is pressed and all the others aren't pressed. Right? One key is pressed. In this case here, it's uh, well, this middle one here is probably the easiest one to show. Um, this one checks if two from over here is pressed. Other every other one comes from these not gates here. Right? See, we've got I've mapped them so that eights here, fives in the middle, fours on the left, sixes on the right, two is down. Right? Just so they make a grid kind you know, of the shape of the number pad that I've mapped them to. Um, so what we've just got here is this one here checks that only two is pressed and I can't remember what these other ones check but each one checks one key and then it just checks to see if any of them are activated and if it works then like if none of if only one key is pressed, it'll come over and it's just checked checks that both these are activated, like something over here and um that the pressure pads are down. And this goes down here. This is just checking once again there's actually five end gates here, but they're all pretty much just linked to an input sampler. <laughs> and their outputs are here. This just shows that both conditions are met and determines and basically determines which key is pressed. This goes into your standard sample mappers to make sure the uh, the motors are turned properly and over here standard sample mappers to make sure the jets activate properly. The emergency is fairly simple, just takes the um the other one, the pressure pads all being up, that's all found out here then checks it checks that you're pressing the button as well and just puts a 2000 into the back froster see back froster that's front left front right back left back right same thing for the motors it's just the back froster is the one in the middle um, and I think that's about it for this code um, obviously setting up something like this would take a lot of time because um, there's just a lot of logic gates to set up. Um, however, it's not overly difficult. Um, you just gotta understand how logic gates work. I don't think there's too much I can actually, I don't I think there's too much I can actually help from a video, uh, but um, if you need any help making something similar or with basic logic gate, to, um, like with combining basic logic gates to make these type of if statement things I've got, like see I've got 
if pressure plate and a single button and press type thing. Um, just let me know. Message me either here, forums, Steam chat, Steam, whatever, um, and I'll try. I'll probably try and help out. Anyway, um, that's it for me today. Uh, see you next time.